What is partimento legato and how does the tight base work? Let's discover it together in this video. Welcome to this new video, I'm Ricardo Samusicus Practicus and today let's continue our beautiful and wonderful journey through Insanguine rules book, partimento rules book. So, we arrived last time to this point and we talked about the resolution of the ninth, so the dissonance of the ninth. Today, in this video, let's talk about another very, 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 very important, useful and challenging topic, which is the tidy base. Or, in uh, Italian, since I remember to you that all these things are in Italian, the partimento legato. So, what is the partimento legato? Partimento legato or mm, tidy base, legato, legare, to tie, legare, is a very important thing, a very important pattern we can find in uh, music. And if we take the partimento, the beautiful partimento magic box, we can find the, the um, tidy bass with a very specific pattern. So where is it? Leather, fantastic. So a tidy bass, tidy bass, where is it? Here is a blue pattern, a tidy bass, Oh, here, this one, tight base, as you can see, very, very, very important pattern. So today, let's talk about this one. Blue pattern, because it's a narrative pattern. Uh, I know I had to publish the video about the Partimento Magic Box, how it works last month, but you know, many things happening and uh, I do it as, as, up, as soon as possible. So tight base, this one, and so let's talk about the tight base. What what are we talk, going to talk about tight base? Of course, uh, if you haven't understand yet, understood yet. Now, tight base. Let's read it in Italian. Il partimento legato se li da seconda e quarta se ritorna in tuono vuole quarta minore se varia tono vuole quarta maggiore porendosi aggiungere ancora la sesta se la quarta è minore la sesta deve essere minore quando però il tono terza minore quando però il tono terza minore ma quando ha terza maggiore la sesta deve essere anche maggiore Italian level less ten um, la sesta deve essere anche maggiore ed essendo la sesta maggiore la quarta e se sento la sesta maggiore, la quarta deve essere sempre maggiore. Ok, clear, but the uh, grammar and logic things not so... not the best level. Let's see now in English, which is probably more clear. Um, a, tight ba a tight partimento base takes the second and the fourth. So that's a very important thing. We have two, help, two elements in the partimento base, since remember that the perfect harmony has, is a three-part harmony, has Fuchs, right in his, uh, in his Gradus ad Parnassum, Johann Josef Fuchs. I want to say a very interesting thing. When I, get, I got this harpsichord, um, I called this harpsichord Johann Josef Fuchs. So, <laughs> this is the name actually of this harpsichord. I don't know why, but so I don't remember actually. Probably because I was reading that book. Uh, so, Fuchs is the name of this harpsichord, which is a German harpsichord that Mitke inspired to make the with some changings in terms of extension now and other things and so we have the second and the fourth which are the most important elements if it returns to the same key so we are talking about a, a tidy bass which returns to the same key it takes the perfect fourth which in this language is la uh, quarta minore. We can translate quarta minore, we can literally translate it in uh, minor fourth. And in modern terms is the perfect fourth. And when the tight, the tight bass returns back to the same note, tono is the note, in this case it doesn't mean tone and semitone. Tone, tono means the key. The key, the key of the keyboard in a, in a, in a more simple way in a simpler way it takes the uh, and it takes the perfect fourth it takes the perfect fourth exactly uh, if it changes key 
so modulation it takes the augmented fourth so we have two cases when it returns to the same note minor or uh, minor fourth which is the perfect fourth basically when we have a modulation major fourth or in other terms augmented fourth now one can also add the sixth if the uh, fourth is perfect so if you have the perfect fourth you can add the fifth the sixth this um okay one can also add the sixth if the fourth is perfect the sixth should be minor for example, let's take this situation. Uh, we have C. Actually, it's not so true, always true, because in this case, the six is major. Probably he's talking about some particular situation, but mm, yeah, that's a very interesting thing because personally, I don't agree with this fact because he says that if the first fourth is perfect, the sixth should be minor. Okay, minor. <laughs> Wait, let's read it. If the key is minor, of course. So C minor, the fourth, and then the sixth is a mi minor six, exactly. But if the key is major, the sixth should also be major, of course. Because in a major key, the sixth, so for example, C A. It's a major six, and in the minor key, like C minor, the, the, the six is a minor six in the harmony, of course, in the melodic scale, because we're going up, but think to the rule of the octave. A flat, so minor six. And then, so when the six, the, when the fourth is augmented, the sixth should be always should always be major with the augmented fourth so C F sharp and and um, and A the A A C A it's major and also in C minor for example with the A flat in the key if I put the augmented fourth I need the major sixth so A natural instead of A flat For example, okay, here follows the rule for the perfect fourth. So now we have two rules. The first one, um, with the perfect fourth or quarta minore in ancient Italian, and the second one with uh, augmented fourth or quarta maggiore. Now, let's see how these two uh, partimenti work. And in this video, let's talk about the first one. In the next step, Let's talk about the quarta maggiore. So now, perfect fourth. This way, it, it gets more clear uh, and schematic. Now, the first one. First of all, let's read the bass. We are in G major. We have. Yeah, let's read with solmization. So we have. Do, fa, mi, fa, sol, la, fa, mi, fa, la. We do mutation. Fa, la, fa, mi. Come back so fa fa la sol la fa do fa perfect and now first of all let's talk about the harmony here we have this fa fa let's put a normal three five chord five three eight five eight mi mi then do we have do you have here a, a perfect or a major fourth? The answer is in the title, perfect fourth. So, perfect fourth, is this key major or minor? Major, so is the sixth major or minor major? G major, so the sixth is major, which 
and then, then ask yourself, was the sixth over G, G, A, B, C, D, E? R, U, Tre, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Sol, La, with the two, so, Sol, La, and this is our chord, E, which is the sixth, A, which is the two, and C, which is the fourth. For example, and then, then we change the position for example, three five, and then we have another two four. So, perfect fourth. The key now is major D major. So the sixth is major. Re, U, Tre, Mi, Fa, Sol, La And then Re, La, Sol, Fa, Fa, Mi And so we have Mi, Fa, Fa, Mi, Re For example Re, we can leap which is the sol because we're doing like a modulation, not exactly a true modulation, because we come back just after one bar. So we can say sol mi sol, for example. Uh, okay, so let's talk now about the melody. It's very useful to think with solmization. And for this, I invite you, if you don't know some musician, to learn some musician with Fami at Mi Fai Sota Musica. And now today, there are many musicians who learn some musician this way, and this helps you to have a clear understanding of what is happening in terms of melodic relationships. Because this. <laughs> Any key you will play this, it's always the same melody. For example, let's play this in C sharp major. We have Do, Do, Mi, Fa, Mi, Re. It's the same. Re. Same. Let's play it in A flat major. Let's play now in, um, for example, in in B major. Same melody. And for this, learn some musician if you want, if you like, with from me, as we musica. All the infos here in the description. I wait for you. Then. We have the melody singing. If you keep the melody in your mind, it's useful to find the harm. It's very easy to find the harmony. So we have eight, three, four, which becomes diminished fifth. Then a long three. So the harmony is very simple now. When you have this situation, so in the bass, mi, fa, seven, one, seven, eight, it's very useful to add, for example, it's very beautiful to add the nine, eight, resolving this way, nine, eight, as you can see. Sol, fa, mi, fa, sol, fa, sol. Okay. And then we have another two, four, six here, major six, which is we can take the opportunity to leap. Sol, sol, la. This way we have sol, la, la, sol, sol. Now in the middle, so we, we leap. Re, 
Sol, la. So now we are playing the two in the melody. La, sol, the second. La, sol, 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 fa, sol, mi, or sol, fa, sol, sol, fa, sol, four, three, eight, in terms of relationships, intervals. Sol, fa, sol, mi, fa, sol, mi. For example, mi, fa, fa, mi. And then we continue our melody. Three, four. As you can see, the melody is always within the harmony, within the numbers. Fa, mi, fa, fa. This way. Fa, fa. Here we can actually stay here to the, e, to the E exactly. So, instead of moving here, we put this in the in a middle voice in order to have a, a better range. And then so. Passing tones here. So what do I'm doing? I'm staying on the D. Now I want Sol this way Mi Re Do Mi Re Do And for this I can add a passing tone Sol Fa Mi Re Do And this way we have um, we have we have something in a wider context. La sol fa mi re do, which is a very beautiful hand ending to it. so having uh, la sol fa mi, which is a beautiful shape of the printer. In the end, in a cadence, also recalls something like a cad word cadence, which actually is something um, more a speeder. So. So having a very beautiful fall at the end gives a very beautiful, graceful taste to the melody. And so, and this way, using our two four, we get this partimento. Let's realize it in a chord. So. Correct read. Perfect. And now let's do something a little bit challenging. Realizing with the three parts, yeah, and diminutions. So, like for example, an Aleman. have the harmonic structure you can then transform this composition in the simple structure into a very uh, beautiful composition just adding diminutions so it's not so simple to adding to add diminutions you have to study how to do this but if you want to learn tell me and we can uh, and I can teach you and help you and guide you in doing things like this and other beautiful things in partimento and composition learning so contact me if you want in this is the description and then see you here on this channel for another video when you want. 
Ut fa sol re mi fa. Can you sing with your hand? Consider that this method has been used to teach music from the Middle Ages until the early 19th century. All the great musicians whose music captivates and moves us learned the basics of music starting right here with a simple hand that I have drawn on a globe, which encapsulate all the elements of music. The great scale, hexachords, clefs, notes and melodies. Everything in the palm of one hand. It is true that it is not so easy to learn this system at the beginning. It is all based on a series of musical relationships and ratios which are different from modern music theory. The historical sources are written in ancient Italian, making them accessible to only a few. Furthermore, the way the ancients write is not always so clear. However, if you have as passionately curious as I am, and you would love to learn how to sing like a true Renaissance or Baroque musicus practicus, take a look to Fami et me fa estota musica method. In English, so it will be very easy for you to understand everything from A to Z. 13 stages that are well organized and ordered. Start from stage 1 and gradually progress to stage 13, following the step by step order proposed in this journey. Examples, images, and practical exercises that visually teach you what to do, how to do it, and why to do it. Oh, and in the end, we will do a test together. Learn more. Here.